Hey y'all, it's Miss Hantla, and today we are going to cover solving one-step equations. That is today's objective. And a one-step equation only has one step. So the goal is to isolate the variable, and isolate means get the variable alone on one side of the equal sign. In order to isolate the variable, we need to use the inverse operation. We've talked a little bit about inverse operation, and to use the inverse, that is how we undo the problem. We want to undo the problem, we want to undo the equation to isolate the variable. So example one, solve x plus 6 equals 4. This is an addition equation, so the inverse of addition is subtraction, which means we're going to use subtraction to solve this problem. So I've rewritten the equation, x plus 6 equals 4, and I've subtracted 6 from both sides of my equation. That is called the sub subtraction property of equality. So I can subtract from both sides, still keeping it equal. Then when I subtract 6 from 6, that's going to add together to be 0. And then 4 minus 6, which means I need to touch twice, and that gives me negative 2. So x equals negative 2 is my answer. And we always want to check. So we take our negative 2. We substitute it back into x, into the original equation, and then we check. Negative 2 plus 6 equals 4, negative 2 plus 6 is 4, 4 equals 4, and so it checks out. Check. Example 2. Solve x minus 12 equals negative 49. Now we have a subtraction equation, and the inverse of subtraction is addition. This time we are going to use addition as the inverse operation. I've rewritten my equation, x minus 12 equals negative 49, and I have added 12 to both sides. I can add 12 to both sides because of something called the addition property of equality. It means if I add 12 to the left and I add 12 to the right, then I've done the same thing to both sides. The 12 and 12 are going to add to be 0, because really that's negative 12. And now I have negative 49 plus 12, and x is equal to negative 37. So I always, again, want to check my answers. And when I take negative 37, I substitute it back into x. I get negative 37 minus 12. I touch twice. Negative 37 plus negative 12 is equal to negative 49. And that is my original answer. So I've gotten that one correct. So you try. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to try example three and four. I have given you two equations, three and four. So I want you to pause the video, try it on your own, and then restart the video when you're ready for me to go over it. 98 equals x minus 14. This is a subtraction equation. So in order to undo subtraction, I'm going to do addition. So I'm going to add 14 to both sides. Oops, plus 14. And then 98 plus 14 is 8 plus 4 is 12. So x is equal to 112, and that is my solution. Remember, you always want to go back and check, so you type in 112 minus 14, and that would give you 98. Over here, x plus 8 equals 3. This is an addition equation, so in order to undo addition, we are going to use subtraction. So I am going to subtract 8 from both sides. Then 3 minus 8, we cannot do that, so I need to touch twice. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. That is my solution. Let's double check. Substitute negative 5 plus 8. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3, and 3 equals what we want, and so that is correct. x equals negative 5. So, did you get it? I hope you did. Ooh, I just lost my board. All right, so those were examples about addition and subtraction. Now let's move on to a multiplication and a division. Example 5. 5r equals negative 20. This is a multiplication equation. This really means 5 times r. So in order to undo multiplication, we would have to then use 
Division, exactly. We are going to divide both sides by five. And when you divide both sides by five, r is equal to the value of negative four. To check, we always, always check. To check our work, we substitute negative four back in. So five times negative four is equal to negative 20, and that is what we started with. So it checks out. You try example six. Write down example six, negative 24 equals negative three w. You solve it on your own, pause the video, solve it on your own, and then play it back when you're ready to hear my explanation. Negative 24 equals negative 3w. We're, this is multiplication, so we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. I'm dividing both sides because I want to use the inverse of multiplication. Once I divide, my negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, so it leaves me with 1w. Negative 24 divided by negative 3 leaves me a positive 8 because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And now I think my answer is w equals 8. Let's go back and double check. So I'm looking for negative 24 by multiplying a substitute 8 in for w. When I substitute it in, negative 3 times 8 is negative 24, and that checks out, so that is correct. So the last set of examples are going to be division equations. Example 7, x divided by negative 9 equals negative 3. This is division, a fraction bar is division, so we need to multiply in order to undo a division equation. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 9. Your 9's are going to cancel out. And negative 3 times negative 9 is a positive 27. We want to double check, so I'm going to substitute in 27 divided by negative 9. And 27 divided by negative 9 is a negative 3, which is what we want in our equation, a negative 3, and so it checks out. Now, after watching me go through this one, I want you to try. This is a you try. Number 8. Write it down. Pause the video and then replay it back when you're ready to hear the answer. Y over negative 5 equals 10. This is a division equation, so we're going to undo the division with multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 5. 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. And then we always check our work. So we substitute negative 50 in for y. Negative 50 divided by negative 5. I know a negative divided by negative is going to give me a positive. 50 divided by 5 is a 10, which was what we wanted our original equation, and so we have checked it out. So now you know how to solve one-step equations.